uh, here with the manager, Dean Brennan. Um, Dean, obviously, since you've came in, uh, the fans, what have you made as us as fans? I think uh, the, the humbleness of the supporters, um, the enthusiasm, the positivity since we've joined Stuart and myself has been excellent. Uh, we're proud of it, to be honest. I thought they were outstanding at Hampton last week, the supporters. I think it's very important when you come to a new football club that you show, when, when the players cross the white line, they show that they're playing for you. This is your football club. You know, we're all in it together. I think that's very important. And you create that just genuinely by being hard, hard walking people. You know, humble, hard walking people beat any ability any day long. And that's, and that's sort of my philosophy and how we play. When you came on, obviously you was at Hemel, so you was in the same league. You've got a very good reputation in this league, fifth with the Hemel side. Yeah. Um, what, when you looked at our squad, probably on the videos before you joined us, yeah. did you look at that you wanted to improve about our squad? I think the team needs athleticism. It needs a bit more. Look, we brought Addy in from Reading. He can get box to box really quick. We've got a lot of ability players, technical players, Alfie Potter, Sammy Deerans, Jamie O'Harris. The team needed a bit more athleticism. And it, it, look, we're, we're going to still look to add that. We still think we need one or two more bits to add to the squad um, to give that competition for places. And when we train, we train like we play. So when Danny Waldron's up against Jamie O'Hara in training, whoever comes out the best will start. That's as simple as that, and that's how we play, and that's, that creates that competition for places. Uh, but you have to be fair to the players. You've got to be fair. When they do the business, they've got to stay in the team. You've got to earn the right to be in the team. Obviously, we've got a very really ambitious club now and an ambitious owner. Yep. As a manager, does that make you work harder because of the ambition at this football club? No, not at all. Uh, as a player, I was lazy. Anyone who managed me tell you, I was, I was a lazy player. Uh, I relied on my ability a lot. I didn't live my life right. As a manager, I've gave everything to it. I made major sacrifices in my personal life. Um, you know, I walk six and a half days a week. I have half a day off, which is a Sunday afternoon. I'll be up tomorrow, first thing in the morning, watching, watching the video of the game. Then I'll spend some time with my kids and my other half. Um, but you have to give her everything if you want success in this business. And uh, I, got, I was given an opportunity at 21 years of age by, by my ex-chairman, Dave Boggins, at Hemel. And I thank him for that. And I think uh, I took them from the bottom of the league below. Um, they've got reprieve up into this division, you know, challenging uh, for playoff positions. And I'm hoping that I can do similar to this football club, take it where it wants to be. What attracted you to this club? The owner. <laughs> I've got to be honest, the owner. I thought Glenn was such a genuine fella. You know, I don't talk, I know he's a genuine fella. I think he's a great guy. Um, he says how he is. It's very hard to get people in life to do that. When he says he'll do it, he does, he's done it. You know, I remember Bill Ricky before Glenn got here. You know, it's a transformation, you know. You've gone from, basically, you've gone from the holiday Inn to the Ritz. So that's what's happened. And, and Glenn's done that, you know. Uh, but I really like the positivity around the football club uh, and the honest, just the honest. Glenn was honest and it's hard to find in life. People say how it is and then they'll do it as well. And um, obviously, today we played in the FA Cup. What's your ambition in this cup for this squad this year? Just one game at a time. In the FA Cup, you need to look. If we had a 1-1-0 one, one today, it wouldn't have bothered me. Uh, the performance, obviously, is great for the supporters to show our philosophy and how we want to play. But um, and the clean sheet at the end that we haven't had, I'm not really going to go on about that because at the end, of the day, we're into the next round. If that was in the league, I'd say, yes, that's disappointing because you might lose a title or lose a playoff position or not get a home tie in a playoff by one goal, by a goal difference. So... In the cup, it's all about getting into the next round. Whatever way you play or perform, just get yourself into the next round. And obviously, the uh, National League teams are coming in. Our ambition is to be in the National League. Yeah. If we get one of them National League sides, would you fancy us as the manager against them? Mm, I haven't even thought. I wouldn't think. I don't think like that. Yeah. You know, I can only uh, walk on facts and, uh, and proofs. And we'll enjoy this evening. I think that's the main thing. You got to enjoy it. You guys will all have a really good time. A nice weekend. You can go away and say we've won nine-one, which is yeah. great. Um, Get back to work tomorrow morning, you know, enjoy this evening, and then when the draw on we can enjoy the draw. Whoever we get, we get, you know, uh, we can't predict that. But we look forward to it. It's really, I love the draw. It's great, you know, it's great the draw. Uh, we all were all on tender hooks checking our social media, which I'm not on, so I have to get my missus to do it. Um, but yeah, look, we're, we're looking forward to the draw. And uh, lastly, with the academy, was this your idea, or did you and Glenn come no, together with that? At the football club, uh, I set up a structure at Hemel the exact same. Young, hungry, enthusiastic players. So first and foremost, we've got to recruit the right players that want to join the football club for the right reasons. Like I said upstairs there in the interview earlier, we've walked away from six deals because people are talking telephone numbers. Then days of the telephone numbers are gone. The club has to be sustainable without Glenn. You know, so uh, that's very important. Every football club has to have its own structure and own sustainability. And uh, I'm going to do that. It's going to take a little bit of time and I'll keep walking away from deals. And we've decided to go into the loan market 
that's why we, we, we signed Addy, um, because first and foremost, it's, it's a little cheaper. And the players are full-time and they're fitter. Um, but we're not going to be paying telephone numbers or have people talking stupid stuff to me. So I'm going to... Glenn's money's my money. And that's the way I look at it. And that's what I did at Hemel and that's what I'll do here. With the academy, that will hopefully get going up and running next year. We've got to get a structure to a football club that brings the community together. Lads come at finishing school. My, my, my eldest is 15. When he's 16, I want him to come on the Billericay Academy. Do you know what I mean? So... Um, that's what's got to happen at the football club. You have to build a structure, not from the top down, from the bottom up. So I think that's very important. Thanks, Dean. All right, lads. Thanks a million. Enjoy your weekend. Thank you. Well done, boys. <laughs>